What's up guys, we got a big day ahead for you. We are at the headquarters of Sub-Zero Wolf Appliances, the best appliances that you're gonna find in nice homes here in LA. And they're pretty much gonna give us a tour. Thank you to Gabriel and the entire team. And we're gonna be cooked up a very nice meal as well. So we're just gonna check it out with the team and just see how it is. Also some magic in this showroom because it's like a modern contemporary dream in there. Seeing every design in there is just big span, looking slick, and uh, just can't wait to get a little walk in there with the team. We're gonna get a full example of all the things you can cook with the Wolf, Sub-Zero, and Cove appliances. You'll get to see how they clean, how they make ideal homes turn even better. And I've always been curious what makes a refrigerator worth $15,000, so we're about to find out. All those questions are gonna be answered for you guys and us as we go in, so let's, let's check it out. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for having us. This place is amazing. I know we got a little sneak peek already, but it just looks phenomenal. Yeah, thank you so much, Gabriel and the whole team. I'm excited. Yeah, we can't wait to see We are too. So just by way of introduction, we'll kind of come over to this wall over cool. here and talk a little bit about the brands. Um, and as we kind of go through the showroom, that's one of the things that you'll notice is Yes, we have the professional, we'll get there. That's the fun one with the glass, uh, the stainless steel, the commercial look. Uh, but it's, it's good to know that with that same quality of Sub-Zero, you can really accomplish any design. So, you know, working with designers and architects, it doesn't matter what type of house you're working on or what type of design, we have a solution for any design. You've got what looks like a cabinet up front, you open it up and you've got the Sub-Zero in there with it, you know, the great uh, reveals, or real tight reveals, makes it really integrate into your cabinets. Um, we've got what's the full size. I like how the door yeah. extends all the way up, so there's a little extra storage space up there. Yeah. You don't see that too often. So that was a unique thing that this designer did, is they included an additional, I think it's about a foot of mm -hmm. cabinet space, so it goes all the way up to, uh, I think that's eight feet. It goes the whole way up um, to really keep it as a very integrated look. It makes it look when you close this that it is a full cabinet. You have the under counter drawers. I was mentioning this earlier, but in this showroom, it's fun to kind of look around for all, I almost call them like Easter eggs, right? Where you're going through the showroom and you think it's just a cabinet, you open it up and it's actually a refrigerator. Uh, you, <laughs> you didn't really know there was a refrigerator until you opened it up. And then over here, this is a piece that I love, uh, integrating the warming drawer. So this is fun because when you think about a warming drawer, you're typically thinking what? Uh, it's usually gonna be for you know, keeping food warm, things of that nature. But this is actually rated where you could put it uh, you know, and, and keep your towels in this. You could keep you know, uh, a heat pack like that. You could warm it up in here. So we talked about the refrigeration side. When you think Sub-Zero, we thought industrial, we thought big glass refrigerator. What do you think about when you think wolf? What's the first kind of image uh, that? Ovens. Ovens, right? Yeah. Red handles. Red knobs, knobs. right? Yeah. So that's knobs. the big thing. The range with the red knobs, very professional. And again, kind of to, uh, to show that there's more to the product line than just the professional. Yeah. On the wolf side, on the cooking side, you have a setup here where you've got a very contemporary oven. doesn't even have handles, um, no knobs on it touch screen integrated as well. You're able to connect this with your phone, with your heart, uh, smart home system as well. So you could you know, set it up with Alexa, say, Alexa, turn on my refrigerator. Uh, or you could, awesome. If you're at the store, uh, you're at the market, and you realize, oh, I'm gonna change up what I had planned for dinner tonight, or you got something to throw in the oven, you can preheat your oven from, you know, remotely from, from the market. Oh, yeah, wow. from your phone. That's so first, this is our Pro refrigerator. So you you said earlier, my parents' home they have this glass house. door, the, right? The, the bigger one though they have. Oh yes. And it's crazy. Every time someone comes into the the kitchen, they the first thing they say is, "What kind? Wh whose fridge is that?" <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Look, I'm like, I know. Yeah. But yeah, the glass is something that really stands out. It's just magnificent. It's just looking at it is just incredible. No, no. This anytime you do the glass like that, it becomes a show a showpiece, right? I almost think of this 
particular model as like a piece of furniture. I mean, you look at it, it has a very commercial but yet refined feel to it. So you've got the bigger louvers, you've got these massive hinges, commercial hinges. Um, inside, you have the full stainless steel inside. Um, you've got all fridge on the right, all freezer on the left. Really, like I said, it's a, a showpiece. People are gonna talk, it's like a conversation starter almost. People are gonna talk about that refrigerator. Especially when you leave it open for 10 seconds and it starts beeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll get the people's attention. Kind of going back to the cooking side, you've got the range and this is the dual fuel range um, with gas on top, ovens below. Uh, we do have it in the stainless steel knobs right here, but of course this comes standard in red and that's what people would think of when they think Sub-Zero. Uh, another thing I just kind of want to show you because it's fun is throughout our showroom, the big thing when we were developing the showroom is we want this to be an inspirational place where people can come in here, they can be inspired for their own kitchens. So obviously you have that with our product, but even some other fun pieces that you see throughout the no, you showroom. No, you didn't. The hanging slab there. That is insane. <laughs> That's amazing. So you have the same thing on that side. A lot of people think that that looks like a downdraft system. We do actually have a downdraft back here. Oops. Oh, yeah, there, you go. Mm -hmm. there we go. Wow. Wow. Like Barry said, the great uh, benefit of this is you have a very effective uh, ventilation system, but it's not taking up any of your disappears. The, the real benefit of Sub-Zero is, yeah, it lasts 20, 20 years, which is crazy you know, to think of a, a refrigerator lasting 20 years, 20 years at a minimum. Um, but one of the real values to it is it's not just keeping uh, your food cold, it's keeping your food fresher for longer. So there's a couple things that we do that are kind of in line with that. Number one, we have totally separate refrigeration systems for the fridge and freezer. So there's no shared air between units. Um, I always tell people, I always ask, you know, how much you like your ice cream, right? Who likes their ice cream? I love it. It's a big fan. But do you like it like a day after when it's got that ice crystallization on it? Terrible. It's awful. It right? the whole thing. It gives it a water taste that yeah. just this flavors yeah. the, the taste. Yeah. Yeah. I've found that I've gotten a carton of ice cream. I've used it once and then it's got crystallization. The next day I throw it out. It's like I'm not even going to bother with it. It tastes awful. What is happening on that is in a traditional refrigerator, all of the high humidity from your fruits and vegetables uh, that are naturally more moist, that humidity is going to transfer over to your freezer because it's a shared air system. And that's going to build up on your, on your, uh, anything that you're freezing on the freezer side. The other flip side of that is when you go to the market, you'll notice that the fruits and vegetables, all your produce, they typically have uh, you know, misters, and they want to keep that humidity level very high for your fruits and vegetables. That's what allows it to last longer, keeps it fresher. Well, what happens in a traditional refrigerator is if you're loading up the refrigerator and you know, you got your groceries, you're loading up, you're losing a lot of that cold air as the door is open. So as soon as you close this door, all of that dry uh, air from the freezer is going to come over and it's going to blast your fridge. So all of the, the vegetables, the you know, produce that the market has spent all of that effort trying to keep moist, as soon as you bring it home, you're dehydrating it just by putting it in your refrigerator. So that's taking some time, some life uh, out of your food. So you've seen kind of the contemporary styles. Uh, we looked at the professional or traditional. And then this is kind of showing the flexibility of the brand now where you've got a more traditional or a transitional kitchen and you're seeing some of the uh, kind of the transitional styling as well. And then this is something that uh, we were talking about a little bit earlier. This hood is, again, if you've got a coastal mansion or you've got something in the hills and the, the views are a real priority, then this is a great piece for that type of a kitchen because we've got a hood that can be up to 10 feet high, so up to a 10 foot ceiling. And what it does is it creates an air curtain uh, where it's creating capture space the entire way around your cooking surface. So even if I had something high heat with smoke that's coming off of it or steam, uh, 
because of the way the hood is set up, you can see with the perimeter where the, the air is open, it creates an air curtain and any of that steam that's being produced is going to be you know, kind of ventilated up, sucked in, it's not going to escape through that curtain. So great technology. And in a weird way, the red knobs, I feel like they can match any room. Like, they, they just kind of go Oh, out. absolutely. Yeah. And I tell people, you know, when you get your Wolf Range, even if you want the stainless steel or the black knobs, you still want to keep the red ones because think about it, Christmas comes once a year and you're gonna put it out 4th of weird. July, right? It's, yeah. it's built in decorations. Special occasions. Exactly. We're putting the red knobs on tonight, honey. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of Alright, it's the Cove dishwasher. So we've looked at the Sub Zero on the wall. Is this a 10 year dishwasher? This is your the 10 year development dishwasher. Yeah. yeah. So here you can see, you know, as you open it up, the lights turn on. So it's got a beautiful stainless steel interior with, and with the LED lights, it really, uh, it's a fun The green's pretty piece. too. Yeah, like yeah the, and all of these green, green pieces it. are kind of points of adjustment. So one of the things, taking 10 years to develop it, it was more than just making sure we had a quality, high performing product. It was making sure that we have a product that kind of meets all the needs that people want in a dishwasher. And one of the things that people always complain about in the dishwasher is it feels like you have to shoehorn things in there and maybe you're breaking things trying to force it into your dishwasher and not just easy to load. So that was a big you know, consideration for us is how do we make this the easiest dishwasher to load? So all of these green points are points of adjustment. The tines go completely flat. Um, you've got adjustability you know, on the height here, this can kind of go down as well. Um, you've got a cutlery rack up here. Oh, so this yeah. is great, you know, for loading and unloading. It comes out, uh, you put them together like that. That way they're not nesting, so they're actually getting clean. So really, you know, convenient. We make try to make it as easy as possible to actually load it. And it's spacious on the bottom. That's, that's a yeah. lot of dishes. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Good. When you open it up, you probably can all identify with this. You take your um, mug and you're putting it up and you know, oh, yeah. all of that excess water you know, goes all over. That's happening a lot with dishwashers today where they're just not drying. So one of the big things for us is how do we innovate? How do we provide a solution where the dishwasher doesn't just clean but actually dries your dishes so you can pull it out and put it into the cupboard. Uh, so what you have is you have two fans in the dishwasher that are pulling all that steam, all that condensation out of the unit during the dry cycle. And then when you pull out your mug, you have no standing water. Uh, so you actually get dry dishes, which is kind of a novel idea with dishwashers. Here's Chef Molly. She's our good day house chef. Thank you. And she's gonna walk you through um, just basically what she does on a, on a weekly basis with uh, consumers that are um, interested in knowing more about her products, but also at the same time, the caring use pipe side of things as well and uh, and and get into more detail with regards to Wolf. Okay. Um, I'm Molly Kruger. I'm the corporate chef here in the showroom. I'm here all the time. This is my job. This is my gig. It's a nice gig. I <laughs> love working on our equipment um, and I get to kind of incorporate all of the things that I've been working on over the years. Uh, catering, education, uh, restaurants, all of it. Bring it all together. what you're seeing here below amazing amazing meal cook you just seen like our, the, the, the texture the colors the smell and only cooked on one side it looks like it's just been thoroughly executed on both but you know also this countertop shining its beams through it is just right. making it shine a lot of countertops and oh my god first bite our mouths are about to explode. Um, what's, taste buds. what's your nose telling you when you smell it? Like, do you, do you, do you feel some a either. story? A story? Yeah, I mean, it looks like you got a lot of colors in here. Got a lot of. I'm just. I'm in awe. I can't I even think. I'm sorry. Me too. But yeah. I gotta eat this.
can't wait. I was trying to wait for you guys. You got some nice dessert in front of us. Yeah. I'm going in. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh. It's magnificent. This is the best I've had. I was about to go to business. In, oh my god. So not only do we do kitchens on the inside, mm. but you also have kitchen on the outside. So we have barbecue, different sizes of barbecues that you can do. Um, in addition to that, you have side burners as well. So you can add a side burner, you can do a barbecue. Go ahead and lift that. Pretty light, huh? I thought it would have been yeah. heavy. It's just the types of springs that we have in the act. Oh, okay. Right? And then in addition All to the little that, details. Yeah. All that. In, in, in addition to that, it comes down to what do you have outside, right? Right. So we have outdoor refrigeration that you can actually provide. Um, you also have ice makers, again, for outdoors. And then we have our outdoor drawers. So if you want to compartmentalize what you have outside, if you want to use it for vegetables and, and, and your beverages, you can do all kinds of compartmentalizing. In addition to that, what you don't see here is we have a hood that you can actually put above that. I think Skyline, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Skyline, I think, had one of their models had one outside. They did, yeah. And yeah, then, the one we were at. It. And then we have a dishwasher. This is an Aspel dishwasher that is the only dishwasher that is UL approved to be outdoor use. Okay. So you can actually fully have a complete kitchen outside. And why is it the only one approved? What makes it different? No, other manufacturers haven't approved it for outdoor oh, okay. use. So basically it's just a UL approval that is needed to have it for outdoor use. Gotcha, gotcha. And typically a lot of times it would be just making sure you have the right grade of steel that is okay. for steel. the elements of outdoors. Okay, no. yeah. Well there was an absolutely phenomenal day at Sub-Zero Wolf just seeing all their appliances. We got goodie bags. Thank you so much again. Gabriel and the team, we're going to put all their information down in the description below. What would you ding, guys think? Ding, we ding. learned so much today. More than we could have ever imagined, honestly. What'd you guys learn? I understand why they're a $15,000 fridge now. It's yep. actually 20,000 and above, but now I know why, it's quality. The history behind Sub-Zero goes back so many years, all the way back to 1960. And that history is what makes it so well and so important to the There team. was a story in this showroom, a story that was about to be told to us. And through our tour, that story was told, man. And um, I'm just thrilled about it, purely thrilled. And just uh, hit that ding ding bell, maybe a little cowbell ring. Yeah, hit the like button down below, subscribe. You know, Still 70% of the people watching this are not subscribed. That's to true, channel. yeah. At more than 70% actually. So you better subscribe if you're watching this right now. And we're going to do more cool things like this in the future. No house in this video, but we're going to have one in the next one and the ones in the future. But you saw today why Wolf and Sub Zero are just perfect for your future home. So we'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. Peace.